Welcome to another edition of Dan Factoids, in which we address questions that divers have and typically want rapid answers to. So in this case, the question is, an individual who has had bypass surgery in October and they are now getting to the stage where they are back in an exercise and recovery program and would like to return to diving. The surgeon has indicated that they can start swimming, but whether or not they should start diving is the question. And they have searched various Dan resources and other resources, and they really want to know who they should talk to about whether or not they can continue diving. Well, first of all, the best person to answer that question would actually be the cardiologist or cardiothoracic surgeon who was involved with the bypass surgery. The second thing is, as a general rule, in both uh, diving and aviation, we allow at least six months before the individual would go back to their former diving or flying activities. Bearing in mind that whatever risk factors were present should be reversed. In other words, if blood pressure was too high, it should be lowered. If they were smoking, they should quit. If they were on um, some sort of additional cholesterol medication, that should be appropriate and cholesterol levels should be down. In other words, everything that can work to their favor in preventing a further narrowing of the coronary arteries should be in place. And that should be established typically at six months. If at that stage the individual is able to maintain between seven to nine times metabolic rate. In other words, you exercise on a treadmill to what we call METs, seven to nine METs. If they are able to maintain that without having any cardiac arrhythmias or malfunction, then typically these individuals are allowed to continue flying or diving. So it's quite possible that you might be able to return to diving, but between October and December is not quite six months. So it may uh, require you to wait a little bit longer and to just to get that additional information to confirm that you are able to continue diving safely. Swimming already imposes a certain amount of risk in that, of course, if you were to lose consciousness in water swimming, you would very well drown. So it indicates that the surgeon must have some confidence that uh, your heart is stable enough, but to uh, go for full immersion and being submerged underwater, you want to be absolutely certain. And that usually takes six months. So until next time, safe diving.